Yeah. yeah, right. Lately, I'm not that good at that. Stern's the next uh, rich guy. We have people out there who are aware of themselves and aware of the world and would like to understand their world and to control their world. And then there are people who remove themselves from the worldly activities and direct their thoughts only into the areas of study that they have chosen. Both of these words are capable of not being aware of God. Of course, a person who studies Torah all day will say, what do you mean I'm not aware of God? That's all I do is I worship God. Worshiping God means not that you do what you want to do. Worshiping God means that you do what God wants, not what you want. And sometimes a person must do things that they don't want to do. And what they need to do, because God says he's supposed to do it, may be outside of what you want to do. You want to study the intricacies of a topic which is intellectual. And God wants you to change the world. In changing the world, you have to be in the world in one form or another. Uh, can the I ask person, a question? You can ask the question. But this has nothing to do with this topic. Finish for it, but not ask it. Then there are people who are in the world and would like to understand their world so that they can control their world. They also don't want to connect to God because that would mean that there's someone else who is in control of their lives and they want to be independent and they wish to be able to say I know it I control it I can do what I want I'm happy as I am the truth of the matter is is that God did not leave this world on automatic pilot and if the human being forgets that there's a master to the world, then things happen to remind the human being that there is a master to the universe. Even our desire for harmony, for universal peace, can only come when we are aware that everything we have is a blessing from God. And everything that I possess, that I can help you with, comes from God, and the purpose of that is so that we can help each other. When you see another person who is different from yourself, has different needs, you shouldn't be afraid of that person. You reach out to that person, give that person a hand, and together you can create a life that's better because there's an abundance of energy, an abundance of materials, and an abundance of blessings that God has presented upon this world. And when we are aware of that, then there is brotherhood, then there is abundance, then God provides, not only does God provide, but new things and new resources and new applications become apparent because God has presented and placed bountiful and boundless blessings in this world, but provided that man get along with man. When people don't get along with each other, and they start suspecting each other and start fighting with each other and start attacking each other, then what happens in the world is you, reflective of that, create forces that are separate from each other, forces that don't go in tandem, energies that compete with each other, and you get an upward flow and a downward flow, and that creates tornadoes and hurricanes that creates tectonic plates that rub against each other and cause earthquakes. You cause the divisions of people and the divisions between men and resources and peace and harmony creates the tragedies that we have seen. The reason why we see so many, so many hurricanes, so many twisters, 
so much in destruction from earthquake is because there's a lack of harmony and unity among mankind. And instead of getting together and being more harmonious, there are people in the world that wish to destroy other people. And instead of reaching out and lending a hand, they throw rocks, they throw grenades, and even worse, God forbid. And that is the source of the human tragedies that we are seeing today. Both realities, the reality of the people who run away and don't want to be in the physical world, they don't want to do what God wants, they want to do what they want, essentially, even though it's a spiritual reality, a spiritual desire. Spiritual desires have nothing to do with godliness. Only when we are buckle, when we are self-negating toward God, are we aware of God's presence? Are we in harmony with God when we do what God wants? God wants us to be in the world. God wants us to earn a living. God wants us to be happy. God wants us to do the mitzvahs. And the most important thing is in doing the mitzvahs is universal brotherhood. That every human being is in the image of God. And ultimately, all of us together can make a better society, a better world, a world where we can all together seek out the wisdom of the Creator and reach the Ain Sabbath.